Amen. Truly it is a privilege, amen, uh, to be able to share on tonight, amen. Thank God for my pastor and whom I love dearly and first lady, amen. Truly, amen. those are my dear friends there, amen. Not just my pastor, we just link and connect on a, a, a basis that's far beyond even the spiritual life, amen. amen. And we're just... Man, I thank God for the man of God, amen. I thank God for the woman of God, amen. Hallelujah. For this ministry, for the vision that God has given them, amen, for this time, for this season, glory to God. Because truly, amen, the vision of this ministry is what's needed in this community, in this world in general, glory to God. Because um, many people, amen, are perishing for a lack of knowledge. They don't know who they are. They don't truly know who they are, but when we begin to know who we are in Christ, amen, as the name of the ministry is, amen, we will begin to fulfill our destined role that God, and that anointing he's placed in our life, will begin to fulfill those things, glory to God. So we thank God, amen, uh, for Pastor, Pastor Harvey and First Lady, amen, glory to God, amen, and uh, I'm going to begin in prayer on tonight, hallelujah. Father God, hallelujah, we come to you tonight. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, the name that is above every name, the name that holds power to answer our prayers. Oh God, we thank you on tonight for what you have already begun, oh God. Oh God, we thank you for your presence, oh God, that is here right now, oh God, hallelujah. We thank you, Holy Spirit, right now, hallelujah, for you having full control on this night, hallelujah. We thank you, Holy Spirit, because we know that we can do nothing without you, hallelujah. Truly, you are he who leads and guides us, according to the perfect will of God. Hallelujah. And we desire nothing else but that the will of God be done in our lives, oh God, every day of our lives. Yes. Hallelujah. We desire that your will be done. Hallelujah. We thank you right now that as I get ready to come forth, hallelujah, that you will put this word together as you see fit, oh God, that it will bless the people, oh God. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Not my agenda, oh God, not how I think it should go, but how you desire, hallelujah, for this word to go down on tonight. I yield myself right now. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. That you may have your way, oh God. That people may be healed, restored, oh God, delivered, oh God, set free in their minds, oh God, yes. in the name of Jesus. We believe, oh God, that a transformation, glory to God, is going to take place, oh God, within ourselves, oh God, that we will better fulfill this course that we've been set upon, oh God. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank you right now, thank oh God, for we know that man cannot live by bread alone, hallelujah, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God, hallelujah. hallelujah. And that's why we cling so dearly to your word, oh God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah Jesus, hallelujah. we cling dearly to your word, oh God. Yes. Hallelujah, we stand fast footed upon your word, oh God, hallelujah. 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 Your word, hallelujah, will never fail, glory to God, hallelujah, though everything else may pass away, yes. glory to God. We thank you, oh God, hallelujah, and as we get ready to enter into this new year, glory to God, hallelujah, hallelujah Jesus, Jesus, that we enter this new year, oh God, with a mindset to serve you, oh God, yes. you and yes. you alone, glory yes. to God, yes. you and you alone, we magnify yes. and glorify you, Lord, you will be exalted in our lives, oh God, we put you at the first and foremost of this year, oh God, knowing, oh God, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. That your purpose has got to be fulfilled in yes, each and every yes, one of us. Yes, hallelujah. Yes. These lives that we live are not our own. Hallelujah. But we were brought with a price. Yes, Therefore, we must glorify you in these bodies. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, yes. Glory to God. We thank you. Thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We count it all done. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we thank you. And in Jesus' name we pray, hallelujah. Amen, glory amen. to God. Amen, hallelujah, and amen, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, amen, as I was sharing glory to God and uh, in Bible study, amen, uh, last Friday, glory to God, it seemed as if the Spirit of the Lord God was directing me, amen, to give a word that would encourage 
uh, the believer, not just those in the ministry, amen, but the believer themselves, us right. as individuals, right. us as children of God, amen, amen. because amen. we have a responsibility, amen, of uh, proclaiming the gospel or sharing our faith, amen, not only sharing our faith, but standing on the word of God no matter what uh, takes amen. place in this world, amen. no matter, glory to God, what the world may see as uh, right or wrong, glory to God, we've got to stand on the word of God knowing, amen, who has called us, yeah, who has yeah. saved us, glory to God. So, amen, on tonight, amen, glory to God. And uh, I, I'm not big, you know, with titles and, and subtopics and all those things, amen, but he did give me, amen, uh, a topic, not easily shaken, okay. glory to God, not easily shaken, glory to God. And if you're turning your Bibles, amen, uh, to St. John, St. John chapter 15, Glory to God. We are, we're going to be looking at uh, quite a bit of scripture, amen, as always, amen. I love to, to look at the scripture because it's the word of God, amen, that, that the, the believer is supposed to proclaim, amen. I don't have anything that I can share with you other than the word of God, amen. hallelujah, amen. glory to God. St. John chapter 15, we're going to look at verses uh, 18 through 23, and then we're going to skip to verse 26, Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. St. John chapter 15, 18 through 23, and then verse 26. Amen. And that's just, that's just the beginning. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. And it reads, it says, If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. Verse 22, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not sinned, but now, uh, but now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hateth me hateth my father also. Verse 26 says, but when the comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. Glory to God. Remember, not easily shaken. We are truly living in a world, in a society, amen, where the things of God are becoming belittled. Amen. Uh, we're living in a world and a time where nobody truly wants to take a stand, amen, for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Nobody truly, amen, wants to uh, let people know that their faith is in Christ. So we as children of God, amen, we as children of God have got to look at the word and begin to know who we are and what we have been called to do. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus was speaking, amen, here uh, to his disciples, amen. And I love these chapters here, amen, because they, they, they present a lot of instruction and encouragement for what the believers were to face in the, in the up and coming times, amen. Right. So we know Jesus, who Jesus was, what he suffered, amen, what he endured for us, amen. And he laid here an example and let us know that we too, amen, would have to to go through the same thing, amen, that he went through. Glory to God. We look at verse 18 that says, If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. We know that, amen, Jesus came to this earth, glory to God, and he was uh, coming, he came in a lowly estate, amen. People were looking for uh, a high and mighty person that was in the robes and riches and, and all of those things of that nature. Therefore, they could 
could not, uh, they could not quite identify that this was their Savior. Glory to God. Um, so Jesus, amen, even though they did not believe on him, though they did not believe that he was sent by God, amen, to be the Savior of the world, glory to God, he continued, amen, to do the will of the Father in spite of the persecution and the rejection, amen, amen. that he amen. had went through, glory to God. Amen. We, we, uh, a scripture that we went over, glory to God, uh, in Hebrews chapter 12, glory to God, uh, an, an awesome scripture that says, looking, hallelujah, unto the author and the finisher of our faith, glory right. to God, Jesus, amen, he, he was the author and finisher of our faith because he despised not the shame, right. glory to God, the, the joy that was set before him, glory to God, in other words, the task of coming and fulfilling the Father's will was something that he found exciting even though he was counted out, even though he was persecuted, even though he was talked about, even though he was hated, glory to God, yes. he still looked forward to doing the will of God. Yes. Hallelujah, yes. Jesus. Amen. So he said, if the world hates you, you've got to remember that it hated me. Yes. There's going to be some encounters on this Christian journey with some people, amen, uh, that, well, they don't understand why you're doing what you're right, doing. Right. Glory to God. They don't know why you're standing like you're standing. Right. You know, there's a reason for that. Glory to God. There's a reason for that. Look at verse 19. What does it say? He says, if ye were of the world, uh, the world would love his own. Mm -hmm. That right there lets us know that we are not of this world. We are in this world, but we're not of this world. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He has called us out to be right. separate. Right. Hallelujah. And it's not easy to be separate. Right. Glory to God. Because there's going to be opposition. Right. There's going to be people who talk about us. Amen. Because yeah. we want to take a stand for the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because we want to follow after Jesus. But we've got to be encouraged. Hallelujah. Because this is what he said also. Amen. Glory to God. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hate of you. Mm. Okay? Hallelujah. Verse 20 says, Remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. Amen. This is what we've got to understand. Amen. In, I believe it's in, uh, glory to God, in Peter, glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's, let's, let's scroll over to Peter, glory to God. Excuse me, let me get the scripture. Um, I think it's 1 Peter, glory to God. Yes, 1 Peter. Amen. 1 Peter chapter 2. Amen. Remember, we are beginning to understand who we are in Christ. Right. Our position in Christ, as Pastor always says, glory to God. Our position in Christ. 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 9 through 11. Glory to God. And then, uh, amen, yeah, verses 9 through 11. And it says, this is who we are, amen. It says, but ye are a chosen generation. Hallelujah. A royal priesthood. A holy nation, a peculiar people, hallelujah, that ye should shew forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness, hallelujah, into his marvelous light. Right. Verse 10 says, which in times past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Mm -hmm. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against your soul. Yeah. So we see here that we are a chosen generation. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. A royal priesthood. These are uh, the, the, the description of us as children of God. Amen. We, it is a privilege. Yeah. To be a part of this chosen generation. Yeah. A part of this holy nation and this peculiar people. Amen. Glory to God. It said that he called us out of darkness. 
Now the Bible says in John, amen, that when Jesus came to this world, amen, he came as a light in this world, amen. And the thing is, the believer had to choose him as their Lord and Savior. They had to choose to believe on him and they would be saved. But see, there were some who loved darkness more than light. <laughs> and the Bible said that when the light came in, it began to shine on the darkness. It began to shine on those areas in our lives. Amen. That, that the flesh that we were enjoying in the flesh, glory to God. Hallelujah. And some people just didn't want to give it up. Right. So they're still in darkness. But the light is always shining. Yeah. Jesus is always saying, yeah. I'm waiting for you right, right. to come unto me, hallelujah, right. and surrender your life yes. and your plans and your agendas so you can get to know me, hallelujah, yeah. and then you can also become a light. Right. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Matthew chapter 5, amen, talks about how we be, are to become the light of the world. Right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's turn to Matthew, amen. We're talking about Matthew chapter 5. Glory to God. Amen. We're talking about, amen, walking in, amen, our positions in Christ and being ready to face persecution. We must be ready to face opposition yes, yes. from those that do not understand the calling on our lives. Yes. Amen. They do not understand the godly walk. Glory to God. That's why we've got to remain encouraged. We've got to know what the Word of God says. Amen. Pertaining to the opposition that we will face. Yes. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 5. We're going to start in verse 10. Amen. And we're going to go to verse 16 because these scriptures go uh, together. Amen. It says, verse 10 says, blessed, hallelujah, are they which are persecuted, hallelujah, for righteousness sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Verse 11 says, blessed are ye. When men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Verse 12 says, Rejoice, my God. Hallelujah. Rejoice and be, hallelujah, exceeding glad. Hallelujah. For great is your reward in heaven. Mm. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Hallelujah. Let me pause right there. Glory to God. And let me back up. He said, blessed are they which are persecuted. Now, you would think the opposite. Hallelujah. If you were being persecuted for taking a stand for the name of Christ, you would think that something is wrong with you. You would say, well, God, why am I being persecuted? Why am I facing this opposition? Why are people talking about me when I'm doing your will? Well, we've got to be ready in our hearts and our minds to face that type of situation. Glory to God. It says that when you are reviled, when you're talked about, amen, and persecuted, amen, you have got to rejoice. Yes. Amen. You've got to rejoice in your suffering. Glory to God. Okay. You've got to rejoice. Hallelujah. When people say something's different about him. You know, when people begin to retract themselves from you because you're taking a stand for Christ. Because you don't want to go to the club or you don't want to hang out with the buddies or whatever. Amen. You've got to rejoice and say yes. This is how God is desiring for me to live. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. You've got to count it all joy. Amen. Yes. These, these trials and these tribulations that you're facing, these sufferings, these persecutions that you're facing, you've got to count it joy. Hallelujah. Yes. There's another scripture, amen, I'll probably hit on later, that talks about counting joy when we're suffering this persecution. And see, the thing is, amen, when you are truly in an intimate relationship with Christ, glory to God, you will understand understand this thing. <laughs> Glory to God. 
uh, you, you'll begin to focus more on your friends and, uh, and what they say about you. But see, I heard the Bible say that we should not be men pleasers, but we're to be God pleasers. Amen. 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 We have got to commit our souls Amen. to him that have called us with a holy calling. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, he that have called you and who you have committed your soul to, he's able to keep you. Hallelujah. Amen. He's able to fulfill and cause you to walk victoriously on this path. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So as we look, amen, at verse 13, glory to God, will we stop that? Hallelujah. It says, ye are the salt of the earth. Hallelujah. But if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? Hallelujah. It is this for good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. Verse 14 says, ye are the light of the world. Right. Hallelujah. Ye are the light of the world. Hallelujah. Glory to God. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Verse 15 says, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. And give a light unto all, hallelujah, that are in the house. Let your light so shine, hallelujah, before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. He said that we are the salt of the earth. Hallelujah. That means that we're going to change the taste of some yeah, things. Hallelujah. Right, right. Glory to God. When we get on the scene, hallelujah, something's got to change. Yeah, hallelujah. Yeah. Just because of our presence in a place. Yeah, hallelujah. Yeah. When a person knows that you're serious about Christ, amen, they're going to respect not you per se, but the God in you. Hallelujah. Yeah, right, right. You're going to be that salt. Hallelujah. That causes the atmosphere to change, and you can also cause yeah. the person to change when they begin to witness how you live. Glory to God Amen. for Christ. Hallelujah, Amen. Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Not easily shaken. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are the light of the world. As I struck on this earlier, glory to God. We are a light. We can go in places. Amen. And hallelujah. There can be sort of a spirit in a room. Amen. That environment can be contaminated. And glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Can be contaminated with all types of spirits. Amen. Glory to God. But when we step in the room with the Holy Ghost in us, hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah, right. Jesus. Hallelujah. The power of God is in that place. Hallelujah. Yes. To bring a change. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. The light. Hallelujah. The gospel. Yes. Glory to God. Which is the light. Amen. We can shed it on that dark place. Hallelujah. And there's bound to be a change. Glory right. to God. Right. In the light of the people that we encounter. Glory to God. Yes. We've got to let our light shine. Hallelujah. In this dark and evil world. Yes. Hallelujah. There's so much, so much going on in these days and times. Amen. And people are failing to take a stand. Yeah. They're, they're compromising their faith and what yeah. they believe. Yeah. Because the majority says. Right. Right. Uh, because leadership says. Right. But what does the word of God say? Hallelujah. Right. What does the word of God say? Amen. Man's opinion is not to supersede or override the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So when the light of the gospel is shining in us, hallelujah, no matter what somebody may say, glory to God, hallelujah, we're standing as a light that will not be put out. Yes. Hallelujah. That will not be dimmed because of what's going on here and what's going on there. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. We're going to look at, amen, uh, another scripture of encouragement. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Let's, amen, look at 2 Timothy. Amen. Hallelujah. 2 Timothy chapter 1. Hallelujah. <laughs> and I like this revelation that the Holy Ghost had gave me uh, for this scripture. Um, uh, verses 7 through 14. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. I told you I love scripture. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 2 Timothy 1, verses 7 through 14. Hallelujah. And it begins with this. It says, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, 
but of power and of love and of a sound mind. It says, Be not, hallelujah, thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God. Mm. Verse 9 says, Who have saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. Verse 10 says, But is now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who have abolished death and have brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Whereunto I am appointed a preacher, an apostle, and a teacher of the Gentiles, for the which cause I also suffer these things. Hallelujah. Nevertheless, I'm not ashamed, for I know who I have believed, and I am persuaded, hallelujah, that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Amen. Hold fast the form of sound words, hallelujah, which thou hast heard of me in the faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. That good thing which was committed unto thee, keep, hallelujah, by the Holy Ghost which dwelleth in us, hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Back up to verse 7, hallelujah. A very familiar scripture, hallelujah. A very familiar scripture says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. We're talking about not being easily shaken. Glory to God. As believers, I always stress the importance of being filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. He is, amen, our helper. Glory to God. As we look at this scripture, it says that we've not been given a spirit of fear. Amen. In other words, that we're not to fear man, amen, but which I fear God who can destroy both our soul and flesh in hell. Glory to God, because man can only destroy the flesh, hallelujah. Right, right, but amen, right. the Bible says here that he's not giving us a spirit of fear, but of power. And when I read, but of power, amen, Acts 1 and 8 came to mind, he said, hallelujah, after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall receive power. This is the spirit that he has given us, amen. The Holy Spirit, amen, gives us power, hallelujah, amen. to be able to stand up flat-footed as a believer, glory to God, on the word of God. Hallelujah. And then he said, of love. And I thought about Romans chapter 5 and 5, where it says that the love of God has been shed upon in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. Here again, amen, he's talking about the Spirit of God. Glory, glory. The Spirit of God gave us power, and he gives us love. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And then of a sound mind, St. John chapter 14, 26 speaks about the Holy Ghost bringing things to our remembrance. Hallelujah. So we see the work of the Spirit all in this verse right here. When he says, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. I like that revelation, glory to God, because all of those lead, amen, back to the scripture as it pertains to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit, amen. Hallelujah. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. I love to call him Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Uh, the next verse says, Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord. Hallelujah. Nor of me his prisoner. This was Paul talking to Timothy. Amen. Right. And he was telling Timothy, glory to God, that he should not be ashamed of the testimony of the Lord. Amen. The, the, the scripture tells us that we can't be ashamed of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because he said if you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. Hallelujah. We don't want, amen, to be uh, shy Christians. We don't want to be weak Christians. Amen. We want to, as I said earlier, glory to God, we want to be bold soldiers. Right, yeah. Amen. We want to be bold soldiers. Glory yeah. to God. We need more bold Christians. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That will not compromise. Hallelujah. Yeah. With the ways of the world. Hallelujah. Yeah. With, the, with the trends of the world. Glory to God. But those, hallelujah, who will stand on the word and proclaim the gospel. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ and him crucified. Yes. Hallelujah. Can't be ashamed of that name. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Because there's power. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the world wants to eradicate that name. They want that name taken out of everything. Hallelujah. But we have got to be the ones to promote that name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We've got to promote that name, Jesus. Glory to God. Because hallelujah, Jesus. There's something about that name, Jesus, that when you begin to call on him, hallelujah, Things begin to change. I am a short in every case. Say. Hallelujah. Things begin to shift. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The enemy begins to take flight. Glory to God. When we call on that name Jesus. Hallelujah. Taking in prayers out of schools and things of that nature. Hallelujah. We can't do that. Hallelujah. We've got to enforce the importance. Hallelujah of Jesus. We've got to imply your shade. We've got to enforce the importance. Hallelujah of the gospel. Right. And not be ashamed. Hallelujah of the gospel. Glory to God. Amen. He told Timothy that he had to be a, a partaker of the afflictions of the gospel. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So we know, amen, hallelujah, a uh, perfect story, glory to God, in the book of Acts, amen, glory to God, uh, chapters 3 and 4, amen, we had Peter and John who, amen, had caused the man that was lame from his mother's womb to be healed, amen, and uh, when that man got up and was walking, glory to God, the people begin to take notice to this man that had been lame for so many years, and they begin to wonder how it was Amen. That this man was now walking. Amen. And Peter and John told him and said, uh, Don't look on us as if we've done anything. Amen. But it was Jesus, the man who you set aside, who you set at naught. He has now become the chief cornerstone. He has been raised, glory to God. And now he's sitting on the right hand side of the Father with all power in his hands. That man, Jesus, has caused this man to receive strength in his legs. Hallelujah. And when the people begin to hear this gospel, being preached the testimony of the Lord hallelujah they begin to believe on the name of Jesus yes. but the priests and the Sadducees hallelujah and all of those others they got righteous indignation glory to God and they begin to get jealous and uh, they, they, they had uh, all the focus of the people on them and now the focus was turning on Jesus hallelujah glory to God hallelujah Jesus and when they caught hold of Peter and John they said look you ought not, hallelujah, to be going around talking about this Jesus, this so-called Jesus that we crucified. Hallelujah. He's dead. Hallelujah. You don't preach in this name any longer. Hallelujah. But Peter and John, the Bible says, who were filled with the Holy Ghost, they rose up and they said, hallelujah, we not ought to obey man, hallelujah, but God, we can only testify of the things that we know to be true. When you know, glory to God, hallelujah, Jesus, that Jesus is real in your life, glory to God, there's not going to be a person in this world that can hold you back from both claiming the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. It's going to be like a fire. It's going to be like a fire. Hallelujah. Shut up in your bones. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You're no longer ashamed because when the Lord has done something for you, hallelujah, oh, you go out and you run and tell it. Hallelujah. Just like when you get some juicy gossip, oh, you run, you right. run tell that. Right. But we ought to be telling somebody about Jesus yeah. and what he's done. Hallelujah. In our lies. Glory to God. It's all about Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to glory God. Glory. Hallelujah. Peter and John. Hallelujah. They went back and started preaching Jesus after they were commanded not to preach Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And here yes. the Sadducees and the priests come again. Hallelujah. Wait a minute. Didn't we tell you not to preach Jesus? Didn't we tell you not to tell people about what the Lord has done? Glory to God. And this time they got thrown in jail. Hallelujah. This is the affliction of the gospel. Right, now listen, right, right. we're living in a day and time where it's not quite that bad yet. Right, right. Okay? Not that bad yet. yet I'm yet. saying yet. yet. Because the world is waxing cold. Yes. The love of many is waxing cold. The eyes of many are yes. just dim and uh, they're not open to receive Christ. So when a person is not open to receive Christ, amen, they reject him. Hallelujah. They try to do away with him. Just like the Sadducees and the, and the priests. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But Peter and John, hallelujah, were locked up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Lord God freed them. Amen. See, we got to know that when we're doing the will of God, if God before us, hallelujah, who can be against us? Right. He's got our back. Amen. Hallelujah.
there. He's going to make a way of escape for us. Hallelujah. When we totally commit ourselves unto him. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. So they got locked up. Hallelujah. They got locked up, but then God freed them. Yeah. Hallelujah. He freed them. And, 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 and they, they went to go look for him in the jail. Hallelujah. And couldn't find them. Where were they at? They were back in the streets again preaching Jesus. Right. Hallelujah. Right. They were back in the streets again preaching. Nothing, hallelujah, was shaking their faith. Hallelujah. They were not easily moved. Hallelujah. Not easily shaken. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They were rooted and grounded. Hallelujah. In the faith. Hallelujah. Not being tossed to and fro. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory to God. Ah, hallelujah. Verse 9. Uh, Timothy up there, glory to God, says, who have saved us and called us with the holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. Hallelujah. We, we, when we understand, amen, that these lives are not our own, amen, Corinthians speaks about us being brought with a price. Right. Amen. We realize that we can no longer continue going on doing the things that we want to do. Amen. We have to make a sacrifice. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I thank you. A sacrifice. Yes. Hallelujah. A daily sacrifice yes. of crucifying the flesh. Mm -hmm. Crucifying the dictates of the flesh. The desires of the flesh. Those things that are, are contrary to what the Spirit of God, hallelujah, is directing us to do right. and how he's directing us to go. Yeah. Hallelujah. When we realize the price that Jesus has paid for us, hallelujah, we begin to think in our minds, well, if he did this for me, why can't I be doing this for him? Right. Hallelujah. Why can I not sacrifice my life and give myself totally, yeah. surrender myself, yeah. hallelujah, for the cause of Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's just a, a minimum of what I can do. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh my God. When we look at what Jesus has done. Thank yeah. you Father. There's, there's nothing that we can do. Hallelujah. To ever pay him back. Yeah. Hallelujah. Except serve him with our entire lives. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah Jesus. Glory to God. I'm going to skip. Amen. Thank you Father God. Hallelujah. Amen to verse 12, glory to God, says, for the which cause I also suffer. This was Paul saying that he suffered. We know Paul, he was uh, a great man of God who mm -hmm. endured so much, amen. Yeah. He endured so much. He did not count his life dear to himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But glory to God, he said, for the which cause I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I'm not ashamed, for I know, I know whom I have believed. Right. And am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Hold fast the form of sound words which thou hast heard of me in the faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. That good thing which was committed unto thee, keep by the Holy Ghost which dwelleth in us. Paul was an excellent example. Hallelujah. Paul knew what was ahead of him. Mm -hmm. the, the Bible said that the Holy Ghost showed him that, 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 that he would be locked up and that he would be whipped and all those things ahead of time. But he did not count those things anything. He said those light afflictions, I'm ready, bring it on, bring it on, what, bring your best shot on. Hallelujah. God has told me that he has assigned me to do this and he is faithful to make sure that I complete that task if I yield myself to Amen. him. If I operate in a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind, and not in fear of what I may be facing, glory to God, I will complete the assignment. I will complete the task that is laid before me. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Ah, glory to God. Um, we're, 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 we're getting close to uh, uh, closing time. Amen. But we want to look at one more scripture. Glory, glory to God. Um, Second Timothy. Second Timothy, glory to God. And I say one more scripture, but my God, I, I got so much. Hallelujah. Ah, okay. Hallelujah. Second Timothy, amen. Chapter 2, glory to God. Amen. He, 
I, I love the encouragement that he gives Timothy. He gives yeah, him yeah. a lot of encouragement. Right, that's right. Amen. That's right. A lot of encouragement. <laughs> and there's a lot of encouragement in Peter also. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Second Timothy chapter 2, um, verses 3 through 4, and then 8 through 12. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, verse 3 reads, it says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier, hallelujah, of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. I'm going to pause there, glory to God. We are in a spiritual war. Right. We're in a spiritual battle, glory Amen. to God. And we are soldiers in the army, glory to God, of the Lord. Yes, yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. He told Timothy, he said, that you've got to endure, hallelujah. Jesus. You've got to endure. You've got to endure. Right. You've got to endure hardness yes. as a good soldier Jesus. of Jesus Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And then he goes on to say, no man that warreth, no man that's in a battle, entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. Mm -hmm. We're looking at Jesus who has called us to be on this battlefield. Hallelujah. That means that we can't be dipping in this and dipping in that. Jesus, Jesus. But we've got to focus on yes. Jesus. Right. We've got to look to Jesus. Yes. For he is the one who has called us yes. in this battle. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. That we may please him. Yes. Now we know that soldiers, when they get in the army, amen, there's, there's, there's no crap. Amen. There's no crap in there. Amen. Right. Them, them drill sergeants, well, they be on you. Glory to God. They be all in your face, spitting in your face and everything. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Jesus, he don't spit in our face, but I'll tell you what, he'll spank us every now and then. Amen. And I'll tell you what, when you get out of line, amen, that Holy Spirit, glory to God. Hallelujah. He'll get you back in line. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. But we thank God for being, amen, in this spiritual battle. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, as Pastor always say, there's an army rising up. That song of um, Tasha Cobb. There's an army yeah. rising up. Yes, yes. We are a part of this army. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We are a part of this army. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Uh, not easily shaken. Not Glory easily to God. Shaken. Not easily shaken. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Verse glory. 8 says, Hallelujah. Remember that Jesus of the seed of David was raised, raised from the dead according to my gospel. Verse 9. <laughs> I tell you that word suffer is just, it's, it's everywhere. Yeah. It says, Where I, I, wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto bonds, but the word of God is not bound. Therefore I endure all things for the elect sake. This is what Paul's saying. That look, I, I, I'm going through these things for you. Amen. For right. those who were to believe on Christ. Right, right, Amen. Yeah. For us. Glory right, to God. Right, right. He said, I'm going through this for the elect's sake. Amen. Amen. I'm enduring these things. I'm enduring this suffer and this trouble. Amen. For those who are to come. <laughs> Hallelujah. For that is what I've been called to do. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. And he says, glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus. I guess I started at 10. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake. That they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Verse 11 says, it is a faithful saying. Okay, I like this right here. <laughs> it is a faithful saying, for if we be dead, hallelujah, with him, we shall also live with him. Glory to God. Verse 12 says, if we suffer, hallelujah, we shall also reign with him. Glory to God. If we deny him, he also will deny us. Glory to God. We understand that we are crucified with Christ. Hallelujah. Nevertheless, that we live, but Christ lives in us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're dead with Christ. As Jesus was laid to death, glory to God, and raised in the newness of life. Amen. Glory to God is the ministry uh, says, glory to God, we're new creatures in Christ. All things are passed away. All things have become new. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Just as sure as we are in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to suffer. Yeah. We're going to suffer. Yeah. Right, right. We're going to suffer. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. And Peter said, oh, that live godly will suffer persecution. Right. It said, will. 
Amen. Not might, hallelujah, but will suffer persecution. We might as well get our minds set and ready, amen, yeah. to suffer. Glory to God. For the cause of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You. Get our minds set and ready. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Get the word of God in us. Yeah. So that when it comes, hallelujah. Yeah. When it comes, hallelujah, we'll be ready. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. I'm going to skip, amen, 2 Timothy 3. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. But, amen, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going I'm to make this the last one. Glory to God. Hallelujah. First Peter. First Peter, glory to God, chapter 3. Hallelujah. We got to remain encouraged. Hallelujah. First Peter, glory to God, chapter 3, verses 12. Amen. Glory to God through 18. Thank you, Jesus. First Peter, chapter 3, verses 12 through 18. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says... For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. And who is he that will harm you if ye be followers of that which is good? But and if ye suffer for righteousness, hallelujah, saints, happy, oh my God, happy? Oh, wait a minute. Did I read that right? Wait a minute. Let me go. It says, it says but and if ye suffer for righteousness sake, happy are ye? Happy. Oh, my God. It says, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. Hallelujah. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Yeah. Having a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you as evildoers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse you of your good conversation in Christ. For it is better if the will of God be so, that ye suffer for well-doing than for evildoing. Yes. For Christ also hath what suffered for sins, the just for the unjust that he might bring us to God, being put to death, in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Uh, as I was speaking earlier, as Matthew was speaking about, talking about rejoice when you're suffering, he's telling us to be happy. How can you be happy? Yeah. How can you be happy? You truly have got to know the joy and the peace of God. Yeah. Amen. To be happy in suffering for the cause of Christ. Right. Amen. The Bible yeah. says, hallelujah, that the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, Hallelujah. But righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost, hallelujah, will help you, hallelujah, to generate joy in the midst of your suffering. Hallelujah. In the midst of people saying that you are uh, you a holy roller. Oh, uh, you, 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 goody two shoes and, and all those things of that nature. You count it joy. You get happy in your spirit and you say yes. That's who I am. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, Peter and John, when it said after they had uh, been whipped and went to jail and everything, they said, hallelujah, that they counted it joy. Amen. Right, and they were right. able to suffer. Yeah, Glory yeah, to God. Yeah, for the cause of Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. We got to count it our joy. Hallelujah. Yeah. And be happy. Glory to God. That just as our Lord suffered, that we can suffer for his cause as well. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory to God. I, I, said, I, I said one more two times already. Amen. <laughs> glory to God. But I promise this is the last one. Amen. I promise. And glory to God. First Peter 4. First Peter 4, 1 through 5, 12 to 16. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You, this scripture right here. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to I'm I'm read it in the New Living Translation as well. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. After I read it in the King James. Hallelujah. 1 Peter 4, 1 through 5, 12 through 16. Hallelujah. Verse 1 begins reading this. Amen. It says, For as much then as Christ hath suffered for us in the flesh. Here again we see in Christ setting an example. <coughs> Glory yes. to God. It says, Arm yourselves likewise. Hallelujah. With the same mind. Here we go. 
Amen. We're setting our minds on the things of God and on how Christ went through what he went through for us so that we can also be ready. Amen. It says, for he have suffered in the flesh, for he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. Now I'm telling you, when you begin to crucify your flesh, when you begin to die to your flesh, it won't be easy. <laughs> it won't be easy because we know that the flesh wants what the flesh wants. Okay? All right? There's always going to be that war going on in your mind. Say, oh man, it ain't going to hurt for you to just do this. It ain't going to hurt for you to just do that. Glory to God. But we've got to know that we got to crucify our flesh. And then we'll know that we'll become or we'll begin to put away a lot of the simple things that God does not approve of. Amen. And glory to God, we'll be living as Christ lived. Verse 2 says that he no longer should live the rest of the time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of God. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. For the times past, remember, before we were called into the light, for the times past of our life may suffice us, or in other words, enabled us, allowed us uh, to have done the will, wrought the will of the Gentiles, when we walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries. Okay, that's what we used to do uh, when we were in, or when I say we were practicing uh, the things of the flesh. Right. Yeah. The old man. The old man. The old man. Yeah. Remember, we're crucifying the old man. Yeah. Those were the things that the old man liked. Hallelujah. Yeah. And those were the things that we did without a second doubt, a second thought of mind. Amen. We just went and done it. Amen. We just went and done it. Glory to God. But now we're beginning to set those things aside. Yeah. Because we don't want to look like the world anymore. Yeah. We shouldn't look like the world. Glory to God. And when we begin to do this, when we begin to, to set ourselves apart, when we begin to sanctify ourselves, amen, uh, glory to God, verse 4 says this, wherein they think it strange. Who is they? The people we used to party with. Yeah. The people we used to sleep with. The people we used to hang with, drink with, smoke with. Huh? Says, it says, women, they think it's strange that you run not with them to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm, when you withdraw yourself from the world, the things of the world, and the, 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 the interest of the world, glory to God, you're going to lose some friends or people right. that yeah. you thought were friends. Okay, hallelujah. I'll say associates. But that's the sacrifice that you got to make. Yes. Hallelujah. That's the sacrifice that you got to make. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. So it says, glory to God, that they'll be speaking evil of you. Yeah, he used to do this. And that's the thing. When somebody know what you used to do, they're going to always hang it over your head. Hey. Yeah, you remember you were doing that? Yeah. Huh? Hey. Uh, and you, now you're doing this? Uh, they're going to speak. The enemy will use them yeah. to try and make you think that you're not new anymore. Right. Glory to God. But you got to know in your mind that that's not you anymore. Glory right, to God. Right, right. Hallelujah. Right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is, now that's, that's, that's really a light suffering or a light affliction. That's right, not nothing right. when people talk about you. Hallelujah. Right. Now, like I said, when, when you got to start getting whipped and beat like Paul and thrown in jail, right. that's right. some heavy affliction. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Yeah. These are light afflictions. Yeah. Amen. These are tiny afflictions. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But it says, verse 5 says, Who shall give account to them that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? Hallelujah. Verse 12 says, Beloved, yes, children of God, hallelujah, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, though some strange thing happened to you. You ought not to think that this is something strange. Amen. Now, I'll tell you, the, the lukewarm Christian, he'll think it's strange because he's used to doing, uh, having one foot in the world and one foot in the right. church and, mm -hmm. and doing his own thing. Mm -hmm. Okay? Glory to God. But that's not how God uh, created us to be. He wants us to be hot or cold. Amen. amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. He wants us to be sincere in this Christian journey. Amen. amen. He wants us to be genuine Christians. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Not allowing the world to mold and shape us. 
Hallelujah. For we're not to be transformed. Hallelujah. Or conform to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind. When we put these things in our mind, we won't become as the ways of the world and the people of the world. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It says, verse 13 says, but rejoice. We receive rejoice again. In so much as you are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I think about Romans, I believe it is, amen, chapter 8. Hallelujah, Jesus. That says, for I reckon that the suffering of this present time, hallelujah, is not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. These minor sufferings, people talking about us. It's nothing, glory to God. And see, not only is he talking about the glory that would be revealed in heaven, but on this earthly realm, amen. We can experience the presence and the glory of God, amen. And that is a reward to our spirit, man. Amen. Hallelujah. When it, we also reward it when we're living a life according to the will of God, that people are being blessed when they're looking at our lives. Right. And the way that we're living, glory to God. I, that's a reward to me. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But amen, glory to God. Verse 14 says, If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye. For the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of. But on your part, he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody, in other men's matters. <laughs> That's the wrong type of suffering. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. It says, Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God. On this behalf. Hallelujah. Not easily shaken. Not easily shaken. No matter what we may face. Hallelujah. Glory to God. No matter what people may say about us. Hallelujah. We've got to commit our souls totally to the Lord Savior Jesus Christ. And believe that He, hallelujah, will see us through. That He's got our back. Hallelujah. As I was saying in this world, in time that we're living in, hallelujah, things are just going the way that people want it to go and not according to the word of God. Right. People are just allowing everything to, 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 yes. to shake them, to shake their faith. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my goodness. Hallelujah. Uh, the struggle is real. The struggle is real. And when I say the struggle is real, a struggle is between two opposing forces, the spirit and the flesh. There's always a tug. There's always a tug of war there. But we've got to learn how to yield to the spirit. Right. No matter what the majority says, I'm telling you, uh, that's not the way to go. Amen. That's not the way to go. The way that we need to go is a line for us right here in the Word of God. Hallelujah. It's a line for us in the Word of God. And if we allow the Word of God to lead and guide us and direct us, amen, we will begin to see ourselves transforming into the creatures that God would have us to be. Uh, when we hear certain things, it won't shake us so much to a point to where we begin to doubt. Yes, yes. Okay? Doubt is not of God. Right. When you know something, you know it. Yes. Glory to God. And nothing can easily shake you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Nothing can easily move you. The Bible says, hallelujah, to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. For your labor is not in vain. Your labor of standing on the gospel. Your labor, hallelujah, of sharing Christ with others. It's not in vain. Hallelujah. You're causing an impact on people's lives right. that you, you could not even imagine. Right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Not easily shaken. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Father God. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We love you tonight. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes.